as an example, we get a data set of individuals who uh, have indicated that they want to work with financial advisors. Uh, we can build a model that for uh, that can tell you how similar you are to these individuals. And that's a very important model, which a lot of financial advisors would like to have. Because of that unique mix of data and model, uh, you guys were able to create something called the Catchlight Score. So Meredith, can you explain what the Catchlight Score is and how advisors are using it? Uh, we've called it the Catchlight Score. It ranges anywhere from uh, 1 to 100. And what it is, it's predicting how similar an individual is to those who have sought and hired a financial advisor in the past. It can be helpful in prospecting scenarios, especially, mm -hmm. I think, as people you know, move towards more and more digital um, ways of, you know, finding uh, leads and prospects. How have you incorporated personalization into the Catchlight product? We've released our generative AI emails. Uh, I'd like to think we took it a little bit further because it takes the personalized attributes that Tony just mentioned mm -hmm. and feeds those into the output. If Catchlight is able to say, Tony's got a family, Tony's yeah. of, uh, maybe nearing retirement, these are some of the things that Tony might be concerned about. We will take that and put it into the generated email so that it's a unique one just for Tony which would be different than the one that goes to me, which would be different than the, the one that goes to you. So the other big item in fintech is integration. Does, does Catchlight integrate with anything else? Uh, we do partner with FMG. Based on the data that Catchlight is able to bring back on an individual, the, uh, we'll make a recommendation as to what FMG content somebody might really like. We also connect to a number of different CRM systems. Last big question here. What do you each see as the next major step in the next three to five years with AI and ML technology. Two sort of milestones. The first is use AI to provide more and more interesting insights to financial advisors to try to predict important life events, predict when we think you may inherit, you may buy a new home. It's not just about crafting the first email, crafting the second one. A sequence. Uh, a sequence, exactly. And getting to the point where we can assist our financial advisors to actually uh, closing uh, a client. All right, how about you, Meredith? The the sources of this, da this data, which is incredibly mm -hmm. powerful, are beginning to figure out that it's incredibly powerful and they're locking okay. it down. So oh. uh, Reddit, right? Which yes. Oh, right, 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 yes. So my understanding is that a, a, a significant portion of ChatGPT was trained on a lot of Reddit and Google answers and things like that. Reddit is disabling all of their APIs in about two weeks. You know, that's and interesting. That's interesting. Coupled with that is Twitter. So a lot of advisors use Twitter, but, you know, financial service has to be properly archived. Now, some archiving vendors are saying we might not allow you to use Twitter because the APIs are going to be too expensive to make it commercially uh, available for us. Yeah, it's becoming very apparent that the that, that if you have great quality source data to train these sophisticated models on, that's the thing. Right. Final question, Meredith, if someone wants to learn more about Catchlight, what should they do next? They should absolutely check us out. Uh, we are at catchlight.ai, not .com, .ai. Uh, we've got some really great content. We've got case studies, testimonials. Uh, we do deeper dives into like the features that we touched on today and a lot of ones that we didn't get to. Um, just a really, a really great resource for, for learning more about Catchlight. Awesome. Tony, Meredith, thank you so much. Thanks for take having us. Thank this was awesome. Much. All right. Take care.